Good morning, you guys. I just woke up. It's about 6.45. Everyone's doing the social distancing thing right now because of the coronavirus. I really want to do a video this week for you guys um, on location somewhere. I'm still going to do that video today. If there's not very many people there, I'll just go and just totally keep my distance from people. So I'm going to be responsible about it. So don't get on me about that. So I'm going to get up. I'm going to start getting ready. And let's just get out today and just briefly forget about the Corona stuff for just a little bit. Okay, I'm all ready to go. <laughs> Goodbye, Ikea. They're now closed to the virus too. Okay, so I just pulled over for a quick second. I'm in West Vancouver right now and my Google map says I'm about six, seven minutes away from where I'm going. The place I'm going is Stearman Beach. Stearman Beach? Stearman Beach, I think. It's S-T-E-A-R-M-A-N. Supposed to be a nice, quiet little secluded beach, so hopefully there's no one there today or very, very few people there and I'll keep my distance, don't worry. While I'm here, I don't see a sign that says Stearman Beach, but I'm guessing there is no sign because it's just a tiny secluded little beach. It does have a sign that says Willow Creek Salmon and Trout Habitat. So we'll go check that out I guess but um, I do see a pathway down to the beach so I'm assuming this is the right place. at how many oyster shells are on this beach. It's actually really cool. And a bunch of these aren't even opened yet. Like they're just, like look at them all. This is just a few. There's tons of them all over this beach, but you know, I thought this was kind of cool. Okay, so this is for sure secluded. It's like a private beach, basically. There's beautiful houses here and nobody here today. <laughs> so it's a good day to come. A little breezy, it's a little bit cool, but still super, super nice. And totally glad I came today to see this little place. Beautiful. So if you want to come somewhere that's a little more quiet, a little more secluded, I think this is it. So that was really cool. I actually really like that little place. Um, I love that it's small. I love that it's um, very secluded. It's completely away from the public, which I really like. And um, the only downside is that there's no washrooms or that there's no uh, really sandy beach for the kids. So other than that, though, if you're just looking for somewhere to come hang out for a little bit, read a book, watch the water, whatever. It's a perfect spot to come. It's uh, definitely a cute little spot and I would totally come back here again. So right now, I'm gonna take you guys to secret place number two. Okay, so beach number two is Sandy Cove Park. And it's just down the street from Stearman Beach, where I was just at. Uh, there's no parking at this beach either, so you have to park kind of up the road here and just walk down.
Okay, so here's Sandy Cold Park, you guys. Um, it's much, much smaller than Stearman Beach. Um, way, way smaller. But it's still a nice little park. It's really very small, very um, quiet. But I do get the sense this place would be um, somewhat busy in the summer. Uh, even right now here, there's maybe about 10 people or so here. Everyone's very spread out, so don't worry about that. <laughs> the beach is quite rocky. It's very pebbly. But I still think the kids, you know, if you have kids that want to come, I think they would still have fun here. And it is nice that there's a little bit of grass and what appears to be a washroom here. So still really pretty area. Definitely a place to come and chillax if you just want to relax here. It's super pebbly, there's lots of rocks, there's no sand here at all, it's not a sandy beach whatsoever. But it's nice, there's um, some nice little rock faces here behind me, it just looks, it looks pretty, it's nice. And it's small, but like I said, I would imagine it would probably get a little busy in the summer. So the accessibility down here to the park from the street is not that great. Um, if you are disabled or you know someone that's disabled, it's not going to be the easiest place to get down to, unfortunately. And I do have to say that, and I didn't make mention of this at Stearman when I was there, but the water here actually looks really clean. It looks really clear. Okay, you guys, well that about does it for Sandy Cove Park. Um, not a whole lot to see, it's pretty small, but worth the trip. I would come back again, and uh, I think my kids would really like all the rocks on this beach, for sure. Okay, so we checked out Stearman Beach, which was just down the road by about three or four minutes. We're now at Sandy Cove Park, which we just checked out. Now next on the list, number three, is West Bay Park, which is about two minutes down the road, so we're gonna head to that one next. I'm, I'm here, it's kind of down the street, but there is no parking to be had, so I had to park a little ways down the street here. love with this little white house. I don't know why. I just love this little house right now on this beach. It's so cute. I would love to live there. Way off in the distance over there you can see the Lionsgate Bridge which crosses over from Stanley Park into North Vancouver. So again, this beach is kind of, um, it looks like a, more like a residential beach, but it's not. It is open to the public. Um, it's actually quite nice. It's just a quiet little beach like the other ones. A secret beach. Not really secret, I mean, people know about it, but it's just not a, a common beach that people would go to. So again, I haven't been here before. I don't know how busy it would get here in the summertime, but who knows? We'll have to come back and check it out. And Will I come back here again? Yes, I would come back here again, just like the other ones. So three for three so far today. So this is going good. <laughs> So I'm back in the truck now. I did forget to mention down here at West Bay Park, um, there was a bit of a grassy area. Uh, there was no washrooms, however, another downside, which kind of sucks. Um, and parking is a little bit difficult. There's not a lot of parking around here. It's all residential areas and there's a lot of no parking zones. So we've been to Stearman Beach, Sandy Cove Park, 
West Bay Park, and we're on our way to number four right now, which is Altamont Beach Park, which is only about three minutes from here, so let's go. This is probably why it's called a secret beach. This has been the trickiest one out of the four to locate today. The other three have been pretty easy. This one, a little bit harder, but I'm gonna see if this path goes to the beach itself. So, we'll see how secret it is. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here. See a little pathway. Parks department. I see nothing that says Altamont. Cute little sitting area. Hmm. Okay. Very steep little hill right here. So this is what I just came down here. So yeah, it's a little steep. shell. There's one oyster shell here. I haven't seen hardly any shells here today. Sweet. Look at that. Oh, cool. And it's got a little shell right on it. That's so cute. I did forget to mention one thing today about all these beaches. Um, obviously, they're uh, coastal. They're the ocean. So the tide comes and goes. And just be careful when you're coming to these areas uh, for sand fleas or any of those little beach critters. And um, if you haven't yet seen that video, I have done a video on sand fleas and a horrible reaction that I had to that exact thing um, last summer at a beach I went to. So I'll put the link for that up above and check that one out next after you watch this video. Beautiful houses. We just live in such a beautiful place here. We're so lucky. Seagull agrees with me. <laughs> so would I bring my kids to this beach? Honestly, probably not. Um, I didn't like the descent coming down here. I'd be a little scared for them to come down that. And uh, the rocks here are really, really big. <laughs> They're not like little pebbles or anything. Um, I just don't think they would have that much fun here, to be honest. Would I come here if I just wanted to be completely alone, read a book or whatever? Uh, yeah, I would. It's actually super peacefully quiet here. There's nobody here. Okay, there you have it. Those are the four secret beaches of West Vancouver. If you've never heard of them or never been to them, I hope this gave you a little bit of insight today. Please hit the like button if you did like it. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this. I'll be doing more throughout the year. I wanna know from you guys watching, which one of the four beaches was your favorite beach? Write down in the comments below which one you would go to, or if you have been to any of these beaches, or if you've been to all of these beaches, or if you know of another little secret beach that I did not cover in this video, please write it below. I am super curious to know. So I just want to end off by saying thank you so much for watching. You know, amidst all the chaos and everything going on right now, I really sincerely appreciate you watching this video or any other of my videos or other people's videos. 
it really doesn't matter. It's just so important to take care of yourself mentally too right now, not just physically. I really appreciate the view. Thank you for watching this video. And um, just stay safe, stay healthy, look after yourself, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. So take care, you guys, and I will see you soon.